Hello, I am Utsav, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot high CPU utilization on Amazon Relational Database Service for Oracle instances. Let's get started. For RDS for Oracle, there are multiple tools from AWS and Oracle that you can use to track down the increase in CPU utilization. Amazon CloudWatch Matrix, Enhanced Monitoring Matrix, Performance Insights Matrix, Oracle Stats Pack, Oracle SQLT, Automatic Workload Repository, Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor, Active Session History. Let's quickly check each one of them and how you can use them to troubleshoot any CPU bottlenecks. CloudWatch collects and processes the information from the Amazon RDS instance and then shares the matrix that can help you to monitor and troubleshoot any performance issue on the Amazon RDS instance. For our scenario, let's look at the CPU utilization of the RDS instance that I have created for this demo. Let's go to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the RDS Console. In the Navigation pin, choose the Monitoring tab and select CloudWatch Matrix. From the matrix, we can observe that the instance CPU utilization is high. To identify any probable cause of the sudden increase in CPU utilization, we can leverage other matrix that are collected by CloudWatch. Other matrix that can help to identify the issue will be database connections, disk queue depth, write IOPS, write throughput, read IOPS, and read throughput. Note that if the instance class is T2 or T3 or T4G, it's best practice to check the CPU credit usage and CPU credit balance as they provide a baseline level of CPU performance with the ability to burst CPU usage at any time for as long as required depending upon the credits accumulated when the CPU usage is below the baseline threshold. Also for the matrix in CloudWatch, the sample is collected every minute. Enhanced monitoring is another tool from AWS that allows you to track the matrix in real time for the operating system that your database is running on. Also, enhanced monitoring allows you to view all the processes that are currently running on the RDS instance. Note that smaller monitoring intervals can result in more frequent reporting of OS matrix and increases your monitoring cost, but provides you more accurate data for better troubleshooting. If the instance is a multi-availability zone deployment, you can select primary to view the OS matrix of the primary instance, and also select secondary to view the matrix for the standby replica. Let's review the matrix related to CPU. For example, let's look into these values. User the percentage of CPU in use by user programs. NICE, the percentage of the CPU in use by programs running at lowest priority. These are mostly the user process itself waiting for other user or system processes to complete. System, the percentage of the CPU in use by the kernel processes. Total, the total percentage of the CPU in use. Idle, the percentage of the CPU that's idle. Wait, the percentage of the CPU that's unused while waiting for IO access. Another important metric is load average that shows the number of processes requesting the CPU time. Enhanced monitoring shows the information for the last minute, the last five minutes, and the last 15 minutes. If the load average is greater than the number of vCPUs, then the instance can be experiencing a CPU bottleneck. You can also review the other OS matrix, such as IOPS, memory, and storage from the OS perspective to check for any performance enhancements if necessary. As mentioned earlier, other than Reviewing the matrix, enhanced monitoring can also provide us the list of processes running on the Oracle instance. To view the OS processes, 
select OS process list from the monitoring drop down list. Then sort the list by CPU percentage values to identify the process that has the most CPU usage. We can see that there is a specific process consuming most of the CPU. Because the PID of the process is also provided, let's connect to SQL Plus and run a query. That will help us to identify the user and the SQL query that's causing high CPU utilization. By identifying the query, we can make a decision depending upon how badly it's impacting other processes running on the RDS instance. If necessary, we can kill the query execution to decrease the CPU utilization or else we can run query tuning to improve the performance. Now let's look into performance insights that allows us to visualize the database load and filter the load by weights, SQL statements, hosts or users. Let's now check the performance insights to see what we can observe when the CPU utilization was high for the test RDS instance. Open the Amazon RDS console. In the navigation pane, choose performance insights. Choose the DB instance that you want to monitor. For view past, select the duration of your choice. In the database load graph, check the time when you experienced a spike in the CPU usage. As we can see, there is a spike that is due to CPU wait event. We can now also check the top SQL to identify which SQL query was causing the spike in the database load. Performance Insights helps us to identify any query bottleneck. Performance Insights also lets us know which wait events are causing higher load. This helps us to narrow down the root cause of increase in high CPU utilization. Activating performance insights is a best practice because it offers a rolling seven days of performance data history at no charge. There are other tools provided by Oracle that you can use depending upon the license model used for the RDS for Oracle instance. We can use StatsPack and SQLT for a standard edition instance. However, AWR, that is Automatic Workload Repository, which also includes Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor and Active Session History is available only for Enterprise Edition of Oracle because it requires a Diagnostic Pack license. Oracle Stats Pack is a performance reporting tool that provides the performance matrix of your database over a specific time period. After the report is generated, it provides you the queries with high CPU utilization and the corresponding top weight events for the time interval. Oracle SQLT is an Oracle utility that produces a report that includes object statistics, object metadata, optimizer related initialization parameters, and other information that a database administrator can use to tune a SQL statement for optimal performance. SQLT produces an HTML report with hyperlinks to all of the sections in the report. Unlike automatic workload repository or stats back reports, SQLT works on individual SQL statements. The AWR report contains all the information based on the snapshot interval that the report is generated for. To troubleshoot high CPU utilization, you can check the SQL ordered by CPU time section of the AWR report. ADDM analyzes the AWR data and provides recommendations based on any performance bottleneck observed. ASH is a diagnostic tool that collects active session information. This is very useful to troubleshoot transient performance problems. Review the ASH report for top SQL with top events section to troubleshoot performance issue. And now you know how to troubleshoot high CPU utilization on Amazon Relational Database Service for Oracle instances. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.